Good morning, everybody. My name is Shanae, if you're new here to this channel, and I am the creator behind Original Flavor. I am a New York City style influencer and blogger, and I'm here to share all things black girl luxury, beauty, and affordable things that are not expensive, but are still luxurious. So if you're into those types of things, then you're in the right place. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a vlog. I'm trying to figure out if that's something that you all would be interested in. I know that someone had said to me before that vlogs are typically better when you have like a strong audience already that's really interested in your content. I don't have a really large audience, but I do think vlogs are a good way to see like the tidbits of my life and to really get to know me and little things about me. It's like I feel like it gives the creator a real chance to see their, you know, for you guys to see our personalities and, you know, just see like the little funny things that happens along the way. So I'm just checking to see if my camera's in focus. I think it is. My eyesight is so bad. Okay, it is. So for today, the plan is I'm getting ready now to shoot some looks with Christian. One of the looks is going to be for a brand partnership. And then the other two are just things that I'm shooting for my own content, for my blog and for my Instagram. And then after that, I'm going to head over to Nordstrom because Nordstrom is actually having their anniversary sale. So when you have a Nordstrom credit card, they have different tiers. They have Icon. I think they have something else. And then they have um, influencer. So I'm at the influencer status. It has nothing to do with being an influencer or a blogger. It's strictly just the fact that the status of my credit card and where I'm at with that. So because of those different memberships, you're able to shop the sale early before everyone else because the sale officially starts November 28th. I'm super excited to get into store to see what's there. I did make my wish list and I sent it to my SA who's going to be helping me. Her name is Catherine. She's an assistant. I think she's assistant manager at the Garden State Plaza Nordstrom. Oh, this is so blurry. Garden State Nordstrom. And yeah, so she's going to pull some things for me so I can go in store and see. One thing you'll learn about me is that I'm an in-store type of girl. I like to, you know, actually touch and feel my items and see things in person. I like to do that also because I feel like when you go in store, sometimes you see things that didn't catch your eye online, but in person, it's stunning. So I like to go in store just to not narrow out my options. So I'm going to do that. And then after that, then we're going to shoot some more content. I'm going to come back and shoot some YouTube videos for my YouTube because I'm really trying to make sure I'm consistently showing up for you guys. YouTube was my first social media love before Instagram. I always loved YouTube. I always watched YouTube. I don't really watch much TV. I just watch YouTube. So I definitely want to make sure that I make my presence known on here and I'm able to share some of the tips and tricks I have for luxury, beauty and style with you all. So. Now I'm going to put my makeup on. It's my typical look. I literally do the same makeup look every single time. It's never really much different. Maybe I'll change up a lipstick or a blush, but it's always lashes, liner, really great foundation and like a highlight. Set my face really good, a really nice bronzer, blush, you know, just natural beauty. Like I like my face to be beat, but I want it to be like a natural beat. So let's get to it. Hey guys, so my makeup is on. It came out really, really, really good. Like I said, I pretty much do the same exact steps every single time. If you guys ever want to see a video of how I do my makeup, just let me know and I will do it. Let me know below. So there is a change of plans. So originally I told you guys that me and Christian were going to go take pictures for different projects I'm working on for myself and for other brand, for another brand. However, of course, my timing is off as usual and I'm just gonna head first to the Nordstrom sale because my appointment um, is for 11 1130 and I don't want to miss that plus I want to kind of beat the traffic before it gets too late then I'm gonna come back and shoot the YouTube content or the videos I have upcoming for you guys and then we're gonna go shoot because it'll be um, not as hot then because right now New York City is 90 degrees and today's the day I have to shoot so it is what it is like when you have a full-time job that's not just a content creator being a content creator you have to use the most of your time away from your full-time job to you know get things done so I don't have the luxury of just waiting another day like I only have a certain amount of days off and I got to get stuff done so and that's where we're at with that this is this. So when I get to the full length mirror, I'll show you guys my whole outfit, but it's super basic. I just want to look cute, but still like very comfortable. And you guys will be seeing that in a minute. <laughs> Okay, 
Hey guys, so I finally made it here. I had a nice swift car ride. I hope you guys can hear me because my car is a little loud. I don't want to turn it off because it's so hot and I'm just going to start melting. But pretty much we're here. I drove here. So I do live in Harlem. However, um, the location I went to for the Nordstrom sale is actually in Garden State Plaza. So that's New Jersey. That's actually only about 25 minutes from my house with no traffic, which is a much better idea yes i have to pay the toll however sometimes you got to pay for convenience convenience is a luxury right you got to pay for it sometimes sometimes the, the quality of your experience is just heightened by just making it more accessible just making it a more smooth transition if i had one to the city there's no way i can drive which means i'd either have to pay for an uber or go on the train with all the the you know all the people which I'm not a fan of with all those bags and then being a hot heat. I'd rather pay the $15 for a toll that's 20 minutes away, get to park in a parking lot, get to go to a really big Nordstrom that's really nice because this mall is really nice. Garden State Plaza is definitely one to go to. I'd rather do that. That's just my personal preference. So right before I headed out to Jersey, I got my coffee. This is Dunkin Donuts. I got a latte, a large oat milk latte with a blueberry shot and sweetened. This is one of my favorite drinks. I don't have any allegiance to either Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. I literally just go to whatever's closer and which one I have points for just because I like both. Both of them serve different purposes and have different products. So I mean, it's just a preference thing, whatever I'm feeling that day. The glasses I didn't have on earlier, these are from Souk and Sepia. It's a black owned business. I really like their clothes. If you like affordable, but it's good quality items that are still stylish and a little bit more unique in your typical stores. I would definitely check them out. These Christian actually bought for me. I love them. He decided to surprise me with these glasses and the Brandon Blackwood bag. So super sweet. So not only is it stylish and something I love to wear, but it means even more because it was a gift. So I'm going to drink down my coffee real quick and then get myself out to the store to shop and to see what's available from the sale. Bye. I'm so excited so Catherine she was able to pull some of the items from my wish list and she set me up in a room it's really nice and here are some of the things that I had on my wish list and some other things that she pulled that are really great picks based off like the taste and the things that I had um, put on my list so let's try some things on and let's look at some of the items shopping I got some things that I didn't necessarily come for and I got some things I didn't come for either way I think that I got really great deals and some really great items I can't wait to show you guys what I got I will show you guys later apparently everybody wants to stare everyone's so nosy like they never seen a camera before very irritating but here we are happy either way hey guys so I'm finally back in my apartment I just recorded a whole segment but now I'm re recording it because I forgot that my AC is on because it is 90 degrees here in New York City. I'm pretty sure I've said that 10,000 times because it's super hot. So 
I know that the audio is going to be really bad and I'm trying my best to make sure that my videos are crispy clean, that the images aren't blurry like they have been sometimes in the past, that things are in focus, that you guys can hear me as best as possible because I do live in New York City so it's always loud. There's always firecrackers, fire whatever, like ambulances, whatever the case may be. I'm also going to try to hurry up this part because I need the AC on because me and Christian are going to shoot some looks after I record what I got from the store and I need my makeup to be on because Lord, like I already can feel the heat like rising in my body. I can already feel like in my head, I'm like, oh my God, my makeup is breaking up. But I did a pretty good job in my makeup. So if I get a little bit closer, you guys can see that nothing's really broken up. I did reapply some of the makeup because I did wear a mask for a little bit when I went shopping. However, in New Jersey, it's a little bit different. If you're vaccinated, people don't seem to be as bothered if you're not wearing a mask. So I wasn't wearing one. Please don't kill me. Like I, I wear a mask all the time. I just really just couldn't. It was too hot today. I am vaccinated. Just putting that out there. Anywho, the Nordstrom sale was great. I went, I like to shop in store. I'm definitely more of an in store type of person. I know that some of you guys have definitely been more of a fan of online shopping. Online shopping is convenient, but I don't like to have, I like instant gratification. I like to have my objects when I leave the store. After I use my money, I like to have it and do what I please with it. I don't like to have to wait for it, then it's the shipping, then it's a, then somehow it's always annoying FedEx, which I really absolutely hate. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I have a problem with FedEx, I hate them. And USPS, there's always an issue. Something's always, like it starts in New York, and then somehow ends up in Delaware. The next thing you know is in Wisconsin and Idaho, and then it's all the way in Texas, then there's a storm, and then it takes forever for it to get there. So, I just really just like to go in store. Plus, sometimes I feel like certain things just are more eye-catching in store than they are in per and online. Online video camera sometimes just doesn't do things justice. But I think we all know that. Sometimes some things are just more beautiful in person. And sometimes things aren't all that when you see them in person. Sometimes you thought they were glamorous and they were high quality and then you go to touch it in person and it's none of the above. So I went in store. I was connected with Catherine. She's I think an assistant manager at Nordstrom in Jersey. Like I said before, Jersey's actually a closer location to me than going to the main flagship store in Manhattan. And it's a little bit more convenient as far as parking and driving and accessibility with my bags. I don't have to worry about any of that because Jersey's the actual place that has parking and parking lots, something we're not used to in New York City. So let me show you guys what I got. Some of the items, everything, I think actually everything on here was on my wish list, but there were certain things that were higher in my queue on my wish list, but unfortunately they had sell, they already were sold out. I fell asleep. I was kind of like low key waiting for the sale to drop. And then of course it was specific standard time, which I don't know why, like no offense. I thought most things went by Eastern standard time. I mean, we're in New York. Anywho, it wasn't. So I fell asleep, woke up, and some of the things were sold. I was like, okay, whatever. Then I was like, let me see what's in store. And then by the time I got to the store, some of the items were not in store, and then they were also sold out online. I'm a little disappointed about that. I mean, it's just how things happen, but I'm also a person who believes that things happen for a reason, and clearly it wasn't meant for me to have those items. It's okay, God. I appreciate it. You want me to save my money. So no, no love lost. So if you do make your list, because if you're a Nordstrom card holder, you're able to shop, you, well, you've been shopping probably this week, and then you're also able to shop um, all the way up until the 28th. On the 28th, the sale opens up for everybody, whether you're a card member or not. But if you're somebody who wants to catch the sales and catch all the goodies before they sell out, I would highly recommend either using your card or getting a card if you have the means to do so. I'm not telling anybody by any means to go out and go buy things that they don't, that they can't get or they shouldn't be buying or they can't afford. Don't do that. That's not what I'm saying. My, I'm saying that if you're interested in something, find a friend that has the, has the membership, give them the money and let and you can go about your merry business. I'm just putting the information out there. Don't kill the messenger. So without further ado, let's get into the items that I got. So first up, it's something that's not a fall item, even though I made this whole spiel about shopping for fall. Yes, I tried my best to try to get items that were all year round, not things specific to the spring and summer. I feel like spring and summer items are great. They're actually my favorite. However, spring and summer is the shorter season of the year. So I feel like those are the items that you can afford to go a little bit cheaper on or items that you could buy less of because you're not going to wear all year round. I live in New York City, so fall and winter are the longer seasons. So for me, I feel like it's okay to actually splurge a little bit more on those items. 
Plus, like, our winters could be a little brutal at times. So, let's get into the haul. Okay, guys. So, first up is an item that's not for fall, but I feel like I needed this because it's a great value. So, I got this Kurt Geiger London tote bag, straw tote bag. So, pretty much, it looks very similar to the Loewe straw bag that everyone has. I think there's a Chloe one. All of those bags cost about 500 600 this one i got with the sale price for 90 dollars and this is real leather for the straps just like the loewe one just like all the other brands so i think this is perfect for my vacations and like i said i was looking for more fall items but this is something that i feel like is an investment piece I call it an investment piece not because it's super expensive or I'm going to go resell it, but I think that it's a great investment piece because I feel like it's great quality for any beach day, any beachy vacation I'm going to. I'm going to be able to pull this out and it's going to be my beach bag. So it's well made. The straw is well put together. It's very sturdy. The leather is really supple on it. It has a little skull thing here. I just think this is a really great buy so if it's still available I would highly recommend this item I'm thinking about doing a whole series called affordable alternatives so what affordable alternatives is it's going to be items that are super popular and just giving you an alternative not a bootleg version not like some cheap thing but something that's really great quality and just a cheap alternative that gives you the same feel look and idea like overall vibe I'm fine I, I really do gravitate to certain uh, so I talk fast sometimes I really do gravitate toward those types of items because I feel like certain things are trendy and I don't know if they're really worth spending thousands of dollars for I ain't got that type of budget at this moment in my life I know most of you guys don't have thousands of dollars to spend on a trendy item just because you see a whole bunch of people on Instagram wearing it who got it for free I know I don't I know most of you guys don't because most of us in America are not rich so let's be honest so I'm going to come with affordable alternatives because those are things I think that are more reasonable and are price points where when it comes to years later and you're not able to use it or it's not as cute, you could just save it for later for when it comes back in style. Or, you know, you can give it to your one of your siblings, like your younger, not siblings, one of your children, X, Y, and Z. So yeah, great find. So I got something that I think that many would consider more of a summer item. It's a pair of sunglasses. However, if you ask me as a fashionista, I think sunglasses are all year round accessories. You could wear it in the winter, you could wear it in the spring, you could wear it in the summer, you could wear it in the fall. Sunglasses will, you, I think it's like one of those items that you're going to get your cost per use. The amount of times you're going to wear them. And sunglasses, unless it's something really crazy looking, they're always going to be in style. Like most sunglasses have the same exact typical classic styles. You have like, your square, your cat eye, you have your oval, you have your circular, you have your geometric. All those styles like you could pull them out anytime and no one's going to be like, ew. The only ones I kind of feel like are a little like trendy right now that I actually have a couple pairs but I could see in a couple years people won't be wearing them is going to be like more of the shield sunglasses, eyeglasses. However, once again, I'm somebody who buys things that I know I love and I can care less if it's not in style. So I'm okay with buying that. Plus I buy them at cheaper prices because I always look for a discount. So it's not that wild. So what I got here is actually a pair of Celine sunglasses. This is actually my first Celine like purchase. I have never bought anything from the brand before. I just, not that I don't like it, I just haven't. So let me show you guys up close what it looks like. I'm just gonna make sure it's focused okay so this is what the box looks like the box even feels like luxurious like it feels like of quality this is the case it's a nice leather case it comes with the little accessories inside so you have something to wash your eyeglasses and it comes with the card I keep all those pieces just in case I ever want to sell it to somebody or gift it like I said the case is really nice and sleek very luxurious feeling the letter feels good and here are the shades so the shades is the flat top ones the classic Celine at first I was like I don't know how I feel about them because it was between these and the Fendi ones that you guys saw the cat eye ones the Fendi ones are actually the black plain versions of the pink blush ones that you guys have seen on my channel in my lookbooks or in my different 
things of that nature. Um, so I kind of almost went for those because I really do love that eye shape on my face. My face is a little bit bigger. Like, my face is round, but it has some structure. It's kind of oval. But either way, I really like oversized glasses. Like, the, the ones you guys saw me earlier, they were oversized. And I feel like they look great on my face. They kind of make my face look smaller and not as big. So I never thought about getting something like this, but these are really like beautiful and it kind of has like the ombre lens. It just looks very stylish and very like chic and very like high class. Like I feel rich when I put these on. Let me show you guys. How good are these? Yes. yes now these are i can't even lie and this is what i mean about trying stuff in person online if i just looked at these i wouldn't have went for them because i'd have been like eh, i don't know about that why do i need those those are boring they're black blah 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 but when i have them on it's like this is something serious like this is really 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 nice like the ombre part at the bottom really gets me and i like this part because you can still see my eyebrows i really my eyebrows are one of my favorite features on my face because i feel like they're just really thick naturally thick and I just feel like this lets them poke out a little bit and then it's just like with the red lipstick well orange red lipstick it's a vibe it's a vibe so these were on sale I think normally they retail for over $500 and I got them for almost half that price well sort of whatever you guys will see the price online but I'm definitely really 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 happy with these and it's my first Celine purchase so I actually wasn't even thinking about getting this, but Catherine did pull it and then I took a look at it and honestly, it's really, really stunning. So I've been going into more of like mixed metals for my jewelry because I feel like it allows you to try, you know, different different metals. You could wear, like what I'm trying to say is that it goes with your out. it's more versatile with your outfits. Because if you have mixed metals, if you have silver or you have gold or you have gold and rose gold, when you put other earrings on or other bag accessories, it kind of is cohesive. Yes, I'm one of those people that likes to match their jewelry to the metals in their clothes. I just do. You don't have to do that, but I just prefer to do that. It just makes you feel like I'm complete and cohesive. I just feel like when you have too much going on, it's just it's just too much. Either way, this is what this looks like. I don't know if it's going to be washed out because of the... Let me take off the plastic here. How beautiful is that? Uh, another like really like luxe ritzy looking thing. Let me show it to you guys on my, on my hand. So this would be my second... Bottle. The first one was gifted to me by my parents. So that's what that looks like. See what I'm saying? It just looks very like luxurious. It just looks like something like I don't know. It's like it's, it says a lot without doing too much. It says a lot without doing without doing a lot, for lack of better words. Oh yeah, my face is getting a little shiny. My makeup looks nice. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So you look inside, you can see that it has like the sparkles. And then in person, when you like flick your wrist, like it kind of reflects off like the silver on the band. It's really nice. I love it, guys. So that's that. Next for accessories, I got this Braca um, initial necklace. It's really cute. Um, they said that they, for every purchase, you partner with supporting, what, I'm sorry, <laughs> blame it on the heat. It says, with every BRCA purchase, you partner with us in supporting the fight against human trafficking. Thank you. For more information, visit blah, blah, blah. I don't mean that in a rude way. I'm just not going to read the, you know, the web website address. But this is what it looks like. I think it's really cute. It looks, you know, it's one of the things that's affordable. It's like $30 and it just looks very, like, luxe right next I got this beautiful rainbow ring from bobble bar okay that's not letting you guys see it so like it has all of those on it like it's like rainbowy different colors I just think it's really cute I have a smaller ring a pinky ring that I wear that has that but I just think it just looks really 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 nice so that's what that would look like on my ring finger is blurry let me see if I can focus it Ooh, I'm starting to sweat
I don't know if it's gonna focus guys okay I think it just did look how pretty that is I just really like that and also once again this is affordable I have to check if these are gold plated I'm not sure I don't really remember but I hope that they are because I'm all about that. If it's not gonna be solid gold, I'm all about that. Ooh, move my armpits. If it's not solid gold, I'm all about the pleated life because at least like it's affordable and it's gonna last longer. I'm not with the other stuff anymore. It's very rare that I'll buy something that's not real gold anymore, or gold plated. We off that. Last but not least, I got only one beauty product just because like I get a lot of beauty stuff like in PR or I have bought a lot of beauty stuff throughout the year so I'm trying to get through my stash I'm trying to be less wasteful I'm really trying to work on my not buying a whole bunch of stuff and stacking up you know in New York City the apartments are really small and nobody has time to be hoarding candles and bath and body work products because that's kind of what I do don't be like me don't do it I, ha I have kind of have a shopping addiction Anywho, so I'm trying to do better with that. So if I'm gonna buy a beauty product, it has to be something that I know I'm gonna use up and be the only thing I'm gonna use of that type of product. So with that being said, I have gotten the Kills Creme de Corpse lotion. So this is refillable. It's a big pouch. I think this is their one of their ways they're trying to be more sustainable. I really love Kills. Kills is one of like my favorite like beauty brands. I use their skincare stuff all the time. I'm sure you guys have seen my those of you who follow me on Instagram have seen me use their products all the time. Like I seriously love them. Like I just feel like they work. Um, it doesn't irritate my skin and they're still gentle enough that they don't irritate your skin that's my personal opinion if you're looking for a gentle but effective skincare line that just works that's you know adequately priced check out kills anywho this is their body lotion i never tried this one i always tried the body butter and that body butter is expensive but honestly it's so delicious like it just makes you want to eat it like it's almost as good as magnolia banana pudding that's what the type of vibe it gives me like the scent the smell the smoothness and when it comes to body products i am a body product snob i'm very picky about lotions perfumes scents like i just can't put any like rinky dink thing on me i'm just not going to it has to moisturize and it has to be good so if i recommend a body product trust me it's coming from a good place because I like my skin to shine, I like my skin to be soft, and I like it to be supple. No wrinkles here. So guys, that ends the mini haul of what I got. I did, Like I said, I didn't get a lot of stuff, but like I said, quality over quantity. Let's do, quality over quantity. We're going to buy better so we could wear more and then we could buy less and save more what more could you ask for right I'm older now so I'm definitely trying to move more towards better quality products That's, you know things that are gonna last things that I love things I'm gonna be proud of and that is it so I'm gonna powder down my face and see if Christian's ready so that we can go shoot some looks some content maybe I'll try to feature some of the things that I purchased today I don't know yet we'll see because I didn't plan my looks with those items but keep on watching see you later. Uh, uh, let me set up my room hey guys so me and christian are in the car we're getting ready to shoot some looks i'm super excited one of my favorite things about being a content creator is actually creating the content especially just taking pictures and being in a video that's the, that's the best part getting dressed up putting on your clothes all that all that good stuff the hardest part for me is actually like editing and putting that stuff together not that it's hard but it takes a lot of time a lot more time than you guys will ever really realize unless you're another content creator like I'm not even trying to be dramatic like it does take a really 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 long time so for today me and Christian are going to be shooting one look for a brand and then two other looks are going to be for myself for my own content that I want to share for you guys my own ideas my own organic things um at this point whenever you guys see clothes or outfits or looks or whatever no one's sending me nothing expensive occasionally i'll get gifted things but for the most part i'm out here buying my own stuff putting my own stuff together doing my own thing because that's what it is i'm a small creator and yeah that's how that's how the game is played so yeah so we're gonna get ready to shoot and right now what I'm gonna do is because it's hot like I keep saying to you guys I'm going to fix up my makeup and then put on my shoes because usually what I do when I shoot like when I shoot I'll show you guys my kind of like what I put in the car 
So when I shoot, I usually use my Tone by Magnum bag. It's actually a gym bag, but I just find that it's really like structured and compact. It has a lot of compartments that makes it really easy to store all my items for shooting. So like in the main compartment will be my shoes and my clothes, but on the side pockets, I'll put things like my wallet, my earrings, my like my edge control, cause you know you need that. Um, different things of that nature will go there. This is Christian's bag for his camera and his rig because now that he has multiple cameras he's gonna set up one for video and then he's gonna set up another one for for pictures so yeah I change I usually when I shoot I bring my car so I try my best to shoot either after hours or I try my best to I try my best to shoot on Sundays days where I'm able to park because it just makes it just expedites the process that I have somewhere that I feel comfortable changing in because yeah you could change in the street but I just feel like I haven't mastered that skill yet and then I hate looking for bathrooms and I just feel like I'm begging people to use their restrooms and it's just irritating to me and people are just mean especially since COVID has happened a lot of people which I can understand don't really want people in their bathroom especially if they aren't patrons of their restaurant so I stay away from that so I'm going to show you guys a little BTS of the shoots. Not all of it because you guys got to follow me on Instagram and make sure that you're subscribed to me on Instagram, subscribed here, that you follow me to turn your notifications so that you never miss anything. The great thing is if you follow me on Instagram, you'll most like, you'll be more up to date as to what I'm doing, what I'm buying, what I'm wearing, what I'm styling, all that good stuff. All my like daily tips are there because right now on YouTube, I'm only doing weekly videos. I'm trying to build on that. Make sure I do weekly videos and then I'm going to expand to two videos. I just want to make sure I pace myself out and not get too overwhelmed because that could happen with a lot with me with content creation where I think that something is so easy and I come up with these grandeur plans these really big plans without taking small steps and then it fails or I just don't follow through so I'm trying to make it easy on myself I want to follow through because it's something that means a lot to me some of you guys may or may not know I tried YouTube before and I failed miserably at it not that I failed miserably because I actually got decent views on those videos so if I had kept being consistent it would have turned into something but I gave up really easily I didn't realize that content creation being a youtuber being a blogger whatever is a lot of work so here we are I learned my lesson I'm here for the long run and I'm ready to build on it so like I said small steps slow and steady wins the race so let me get myself together put my earrings on put the fine the fine tuning onto my look and me and Christian are gonna start shooting So we're about to shoot look number three. Unfortunately, we did have some technical difficulties. So for one of the looks, I didn't wear, I didn't have to wear a bra. So I actually forgot to bring my bra and I am a member of the Tickle Bitty Committee. Yes, I am. I say it proudly, but that also comes with um, saggy boob syndrome. And yeah, so that's been a struggle, but we gonna make it work. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, you make that shit happen. So we're just gonna roll with the punches and do the best we can and just make my boobs not look as saggy. But oh well, it is what it is. That's what happens when you have large natural boobs. So let's get to it. okay so christian's getting his rig together so we could shoot the last reel so what we normally do is we in it like when we shoot pictures we shoot the each outfit we do the pictures and then we do video content after so usually the pictures and videos i'll edit on my own occasionally christian will help me out and he'll edit one of the videos He's an actual like videographer, creative director, all that. So 
he's really 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 great at editing way better than i am but i could still do a little something a, a little a little 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 something so yeah right now i have the celine glasses on that i showed you guys earlier i'm really really loving them like honestly i'm really happy that i i bought them I definitely i feel like these are just so like these are it i have my mark jacobs earrings on i actually put on the bobble bar ring and then i have my jenny bird bracelet on this i got in a fat fit fun box another thing i really love that i've been subscribed to for the past months not sponsored just something i really really enjoy once again i love being introduced to new products that i didn't know about that are amazing lastly i have my brandon blackwood i forgot the name of it i think it's kara mini kara duffel bag handbag christian actually bought this for me i really really love it i know that i'm not much of a nylon fan like the product bags aren't really my jam but this is like really cute and really well made i just really 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 enjoy this one it's just it's just so cute it's like just, you just i just want to bite it so yeah that's just me rambling while he's setting up his rig the lighting looks good my makeup still looks good despite it being super hot i like triple set my face Right now, I guess I'll show you the rest of my outfit because whatever. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it anyways. But I have this top on from Zara, which I really, really love. I was, this time during the sale, I tried my best to get mostly tops because I don't have a lot of them. I have a lot of denim, but not a lot of tops. But tops are also super hard for me because of my breasts. So I kind of go basic with them. Things I know that are going to look right. For my jeans, I have my 1822 Absolve jeans on. So these are kind of like shapewear and jeans mixed into one. Something I'm very in need of in this day and age, especially after quarantine and the way I've been eating the past couple months. And then for my shoes, I have my Aldo wannabe Balenciagas. I love these shoes. Unfortunately, I lost my Balenciaga shoes. I don't want to talk about it. It's a really long story. But these are the closest things. Like these are a, a pretty good dupe for them. Of course they're not exactly the same like it's not the same materials whatsoever to craftsmanship but it's, it's still a pretty pretty good alternative affordable alternatives so let's shoot the last reel christian's ready my camera's on a slant because it's on my car but i just wanted to quickly say thank you so much for joining me today on our shopping trip to nordstrom for the anniversary sale and for joining me on creating content in our little mini haul it was definitely a good time and Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know below. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe and turn on your notifications for my YouTube videos. Really let me know what you think about these vlogs because if you guys enjoy them, I will do more of them. And just anything that you would like to see me do. Reviews, you want to see more try-ons, more hauls. Just let me know. I'm an open book and I could do all those things. Or I could just do what I want to do. So let me know. Thank you guys.